Hi everyone, my name is Cardi Niga. I'm one of the founders of a company called The Trust Line and personal blogger of Selling Inspired. I've been approached by Andre to share a bit of my business journey over the next few weeks and before I do that, I thought I'll put up a video just giving you a bit of introduction about who I am, um, my background to my career and where I find myself. So a bit about myself, I am a mother, woman in business, living in Cape Town. Um, if I'm not working, I'm enjoying my time with family and friends. Hopefully doing something adventurous and outdoors because I simply love adventure and outdoors. And hopefully ticking something off my bucket list. So exploring places, exploring cultures and just exploring everything in life um, is really something that I love doing. So hopefully I'm doing that. And if I should say three words to describe myself would be um, passionate, loyal and um, calm. <laughs> Which helps with me being in my event industry. So a bit about my background to events, um, I've got 13 years in sports sponsorship and events industry. I was fortunate at a very young age to know or to discover what I'd love um, and that always came from me being involved at school level in a whole lot of different projects from community projects to sport events, matric committees, things etc. And through that I discovered that I love the process of projects and planning and organising and then seeing it come to light. And that's where really my passion was ignited by and um, at the age of 20, so I mentioned 13 years and in case you're wondering how a young woman like me, at the age of 33 you managed to rack up 13 years, it's because at the age of 20 when I entered into the working environment, um, I knew that I needed to gain as much experience as possible. So I, while I was studying my terrible and tourism and event management diploma, um, then later I moved on to project management degree. I knew I needed to position myself in the industry that I wanted to uh, eventually establish a business in. And at the time I was fortunate to land a job for one of the leading sponsorship and sport industry companies um, and the position was a receptionist. Now me studying in my second year and um, understanding that this is what I wanted to be, when a receptionist job came along it was kind of like, um, and obviously being ambitious, I kind of like, oh that's not exactly what I want. But studying and understanding the process of things, I knew that this is part of the process that I needed to go to. And um, yeah, I took on the receptionist job and I was fortunate enough to hold a lot of positions in the industry under um, the, the sports and event industry. So I started off as receptionist and six months into it, I was promoted to personal assistant to senior directors and then also um, with any spare time I had, I helped out the project and event management team. I eventually ended up as account executive, then grew up the corporate ladder to account manager, senior account manager, um, account director, and then just in last year got offered a promotion to business director. At the time being offered for a promotion, I reached a personal journey for myself where I knew it was time for me to live out my dreams and pursue the role of entrepreneur and woman in business. So I took a step of faith and I had it in my resignation and my company Across the Line was eventually born in October 2017. Now Across the Line is an event and sponsorship management company. We do all sorts of corporate events, brand activations, promotions, um, golf events, golf days, etc. And then there's also a division that's very close to my heart which is Corporate Social Investment, also known as CSI and Social Innovation Projects. We will basically come up with concepts, implement it into the communities and hopefully it, it creates a positive impact um, in the communities that we activate in. So that's a bit about me and where I'm at. My company is four months in existence and we're really hoping to establish ourselves as one of the leading companies in the industry. Over the next few weeks I'm going to be sharing a bit more on, on topics that I've experienced and my next topic will basically discuss my transition from being full-time employed to full-time entrepreneur. I do hope that what I share with you and my journey that I share the ups and the lows inspires and motivates you guys to take your place, make your mark and live out your life that you set out to live out. Thank you and I look forward to sharing my journey with you.